y'all it's mariah and welcome back to another vlog if you are a new girl go ahead and subscribe down below because you are going to love it here okay i'm starting the vlog today i'm really excited because i'm vlogging like for real for real off my brand new camera if you haven't seen um my last vlog i'll go ahead and link it up in the eye and have a link down below your girl got a whole new youtube setup okay i'm vlogging off of my brand new camera this is the sony zv1 mark ii and girl is giving like i feel like y'all can see everything like this is so t the new sony zv1 mark ii has that like cute like wide angle lens like y'all can literally see like my whole entire condo and it's so t like it's giving like real youtuber like who you know yeah so i'm really excited about that and i also got a new macbook like y'all need to go watch that vlog because that vlog was such a good vlog like i really enjoyed editing it i feel like now more than ever i'm so like motivated to just like make content and just record and just edit like yeah it's really good been like so i'm just like girl let me just start recording let me just start recording my life let me just start just putting myself out there and just literally like picking up my camera and just recording because that's what vloggers do like i'm just supposed to be vlogging my life and that's what we're gonna be doing okay so anyway i had a really good day today as you can see i'm still in my scrubs girl i gotta take a shower because being in these scrubs when i get home is something that i just do not like to do so i'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower but before i go ahead and do that i wanted to go ahead and show y'all my new amazon packages i also got another package i'm assuming it's from ysl beauty you guys know i've been doing business with them and i think they're sending over a new product for me to show you guys so we're gonna be unboxing two different packages so let's go ahead and get into it i'm gonna start with this package first it's like this random brown box and i know um last time when ysl beauty sent me some um products they put it in a random brown box so I'm just assuming it's from them. It doesn't say it on the box. This is just my assumption. Okay, wait, it might say it on the box. No, it doesn't say on the box. Yeah, it doesn't. My hand still hurts y'all. I told y'all in my last vlog that I burnt my hand on the oven and it has just not been healing properly. Like it still freaking hurts so bad. And at first I'm like, okay, maybe it won't scar as bad, but no, it's definitely gonna leave a huge, Car. oh yeah this is definitely why i sell beauty <laughs> this mysterious like black wrapping paper what did they send your girl what it's something about working with like your dream brands right and not only are you working with them but like they're sending you pr they're sending you goodies they're sending you products to try out and like show on your you know social platforms that you already love and use and not only do you love and use them but you're spending your own coin to like you know what i'm saying like this is like a full circle moment and i'm just so excited okay anyway let me start rambling i think it's supposed to be turned this way because the sticker is on like this side of the wrapping paper but very cute okay the branding is always there this is so nice <laughs> y'all uh, if y'all know one thing about mariah y'all know i love me some while i celebrate it and they sent me a whole new bottle like oh my gosh y'all this is like my favorite 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 fragrance i have been consistently wearing while i celebrate for at least going on like two three years i'm not even joking I be trying to vlog and people just be calling me like. And they also sent a card. The card says, YSL Beauty invites you to indulge in Libre de Parfume, a fragrance that captures the essence of freedom and individuality with citrus and floral notes balanced by a warm vanilla base. Libre celebrates the confident and the liberated spirit hear it uh, okay embrace your freedom to find your style with ysl beauties Le Brave perfume don't forget to tag us enjoy your content whatever y'all this is like incredible this is incredible like i cannot believe ysl beauty knows my address like what this is insane this is insane and it's just like i'm never gonna stop being grateful like it may seem like small to some people but like girl ysl beauty like knows my address like what are you talking about what are you talking about so if you want to shop any of these products girl what you definitely should because one thing about ysl whenever i'm wearing it i just feel expensive like i just feel expensive and like so classy so luxury so if you want to feel like that too go ahead and check my description box because everything's going to be down below in the description box let's go ahead and unbox the fragrance 
Oh my gosh, like, I am so hyped right now. This is my favorite, favorite fragrance, y'all. Like, oh, I love the way this smells so much. And it's funny because I'm actually running low on the one I already have. Period. Uh, period. What? And the bottle is so like classy, so sleek, so clean. Like it's really giving. Like I just love, 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 love their branding on all their products. It's so nice and it just screams like luxury. I'm actually gonna spray some on just because like I just love it that much. Like Oh, and it smells so good. And it literally lasts forever. Like, this fragrance lasts forever. It's so strong, so sexy. Like, I literally love this so much. So once again, girl, if you have been looking, okay, for a fragrance that makes you smell, like, sexy, like, smells like money, like, that lasts forever, I'm gonna have this thing down below. It smells so good. Like, literally, I, I just can't. And moving on from... YSL, I told y'all I ordered some Amazon packages. Um, these are some essentials that I'm gonna be using for my Bible. I'm gonna be diving more into my Bible study this year, so I ordered some essentials for that. First things first are these highlighters that don't, you know, bleed through the sheets of my Bible. I got these colors, they're like really cute, earthy colors. So I'm excited to use these. Like how nice, how freaking nice. I feel like these are so aesthetically pleasing. So I'm excited that I picked out these. I definitely want to get more into my Bible this year, y'all. Like really like diving deep in my Bible and like understanding the word. Like on a whole nother level, like super, super like thorough reading. Even if like, you know, I don't understand something, taking the time to like go on and like look it up and like get a deeper meaning and just find a way to apply it to my life. But yeah, I'm really excited. This season of my life is gonna be all about that. And I feel like I am ready for the journey. So if y'all wanna join me, Y'all can join me. I also link these down below as well, the um, Bible highlighters. And I'm also gonna show you another thing that I got for my Bible, I'm really excited. Now girl, this is what I'm excited about the most. These are Bible tabs, and I'm gonna show you how freaking nice they are. Like, hopefully they look like the pictures on Amazon, because I was so gagged. I'm like, wait, what? I have to order these. Like, period. Even the packaging is super nice too. Oh my God, I love this. No, these are too cute, like, okay. Oh, okay, wait, y'all, wait, 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 wait. Y'all, look at my cute little, oh my gosh, y'all, look. So cute, and if you know me, like, you know I'm not even like a pink, like, type of girly, but these are so cute, and my Bible has pink in it as well, so I feel like, it's gonna look so nice and I'm so excited. And they're like velvet too. I like the gold writing on them. It comes with like stickers. This is so nice. So yeah, those are the packages that I wanted to come on here and unbox with y'all. I'm still waiting on two more Amazon pack. No, one more, sorry. One more Amazon package. And when that comes, um, we're gonna unbox that together as well. I probably will include the footage of me like in my Bible study, figuring out like what works for me and like how I wanna go about doing this. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe, girl, so you can join the journey. I'm really hungry. I don't know what I'm about to eat. Like, I really dread cooking, but y'all know I'm trying to like cook more, okay? So I'm gonna figure out when to cook or am I gonna like go grab something? But first things first, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and um, hop in the shower and we will catch up somewhere else along the way. Every time I try it, won't look in my eyes, you know I'm lying, lying. Body to body, skin to skin, I'm never gonna love like this again. You were made for me. Just for me. You were made for me. Why are you trying to make it a gospel song? <laughs> Like what? <laughs> okay y'all, so as you can see, it's a lot later, it's the same day by the way, but I'm getting ready for dinner. <laughs> I'm getting ready for dinner. I'm going to get sushi, we're going to Umi. If you know me, then you should have already knew I was going to Umi, okay? I love Umi, I just recommend that for everybody that comes to Atlanta. If you live in Atlanta, Umi is just a place to be. It's just a vibe, the experience is chef's kiss. I'm putting you on here singing too. 
I wish you would. <laughs> Okay, I gotta shake this hair, y'all, because y'all know it be the curls be too tight, and I don't really, I don't really like that. <laughs> bye, bye, because you'll get me in trouble. Bye. Anyways, um, sorry about that. What's up? Oh my god. Okay, now we can lock in. Now we can focus. Anywho, so it's the same day. It's a little bit later. I'm getting ready for dinner. How I said, I go for like more effortless curly look. And that's just what I like. And that's just what works for Mariah. Uh, I'm really excited. Umi is just always a vibe. Like I already know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the soup, the yellow tail. I'm gonna get like four rounds of yellow tail cause I'm just a yellow tail girl. I'm gonna get about two lychee martinis and that's just that's just what it's gonna be and it's so funny y'all because I actually been putting all my friends on to lychee martinis. I put my mom on to it too. And why I told Jalen about it, y'all, and he texted me. It's his birthday. His birthday was like, I think two days ago. He texted me. He was like, OMG, these lychee martinis. And guess what I said? <laughs> he was like, OMG, these lychee martinis. I was like, I'm having one right now, too. That's what he sent me back. <laughs> like, if you know, you know, these lychee martinis are literally no joke. Given on that side because y'all know i like my hair lay like that okay cool so our reservation was at 8 45 and it's currently 8 36 so we're running good on time i put lashes on tonight not because i wanted to because i just am not in my lash girl era right now but i put them on because taking mascara off is so hard like even with the micellar water it's still hard it's just a whole task and i don't feel like fighting on my eyelids tonight when i get home I just want to take the lashes off and be able to wash my face. I have any recommendations on like products I can use to like easily take my mascara off, girl. Let me know. This is the fragrance of the night, of course. Like this stuff, I just cannot stop like bragging about this fragrance. It just literally smells so good. Like, love this down. And then for my lip, I didn't um line my lips tonight. I literally just threw on this um lip glow oil. This is from Dior in the shade Cherry, I think. The pigment in this is crazy because it literally looks like I have like lipstick on and like put gloss over it, but I swear I just did the gloss. All right, y'all, so this is the completed look. Um, my two-piece set is from Fashion Nova. It's so freaking cute. If I can find the link, I'll put it down below for y'all because it's so, it's so cute. And they have other colors too, if I'm not mistaken. And I love like the leggings on this look because it just snatches my waist and it just snatches the waist so here's the look for tonight i'm really loving the vibes and yeah that's all for now and i will see you guys once we get to dinner
guys, dinner has been phenomenal. I'm having such a great time. Literally, I cannot eat anymore. Thank you, you as well. Literally, I cannot eat anymore. The sushi was really good. The yellowtail is my favorite. We literally ordered like two rounds of yellowtail because one thing about me, I can eat a whole plate by myself. I put extra pickled ginger on there. So good. Um, the chicken teriyaki, it was okay. Our waiter told us that they have um, a new chef and so they prepared it a lot differently than the last time we came here and we had it. It was good, but like, if it's not broken, like don't go and try to fix it. It was so much better before, which really kind of sucks because now it's not like that anymore. Um, for the sushi roll, we got the lobster tempura roll. It was really good. And y'all know I have to give me a lychee. Mm. Period. So yeah, I'm having a great time at dinner. Super dark in here too, y'all. So I apologize that y'all can't really see me or probably hear me because the music is loud too. But y'all get the vibes. Like y'all get what the vibes are supposed to be. Mm. Mm. All right, y'all, so I'm about to finish up at dinner and um, it's pretty late, so I'll just talk to y'all in the morning or sometime tomorrow. Bye. about the notes I guess or like quote or whatever that was on my tea bag literally like just has me so appalled it says give thanks for unknown blessings that are already on the way girl you don't even know how much I just needed to hear that reassurance is everything and I just feel like whenever I am doubtful like God shows up right on time in the most mysterious ways and it's crazy so that was really nice and I'm so mad right now because I want this tea to like hurry up and cool off so I can drink it I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because it literally smells so good that's the lemon ginger um tea that I be drinking y'all know but the honey that I put in there, I just found that honey like maybe like last week at the grocery store. So pure, right? It's so pure. It's like actual like raw honey. Just based off the fact that the honey is like pure and raw, I can already like smell a difference like in the, I guess, flavor of the tea and it smells so good. Anyway. Um, it's Sunday. I saw you guys last night at dinner, but it's a brand new day. I kind of already started getting ready for the day, hence why I have like these hair clips and girl, I probably look crazy. And while I'm thinking about it, I really want to get some flexi rods. I feel like flexi rods would just be easier. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to put so many in my head, like the clips. I think there's about maybe two, four, maybe like six or eight clips in here. I don't know. But I didn't put any heat on my hair today. When I got back from dinner last night, I just kind of like curled the curls that I did like last night. And then I just kind of clipped them up. So the curls are from last night. I honestly hate the idea of just like putting heat on my hair every day. So on those nights or those days where I like take my time, like curl my hair really nicely, that night I'll just clip it up really good like this and then put my little scarf on there, my bonnet, and then we go into sleep. Because in the morning, 
you know, she's already, she's already done. Anywho, I'm rambling. I wanted to come on here and show you guys what I ordered from DoorDash. I saw this cafe um, nearby and I ordered some breakfast pastries. So we're gonna try them out together. I also got an orange juice, a fresh squeezed orange juice. I don't know why I was in the mood for orange juice today anyway, because I'm honestly an apple juice girly. Like, if you know, you know, but it said it was like fresh squeezed online and I don't know about y'all, but I'm a pup girly. I love pulp in my juice. I feel like it just makes it, you know, way more refreshing and fresh. So when this had pulp on there, I just had to get it. I was in the mood to just try, you know, different stuff for breakfast and I didn't feel like making nothing. And I was gonna make those croissants I told y'all about in my last vlog. But girl, literally, when I tell you I get down with those croissants, I get down. They didn't last a day. I'm not even, <laughs> this sounds so bad. Like literally I'll say like, okay, I'm only gonna have one. And then one turns into like, or maybe I'll do another one, but instead of putting like butter on it, I'll do jelly or Nutella. And then mind you, it only comes with three croissants in a pack. Like be so for real, be so for real. So yeah, the croissants are gone, girl. So I ordered some breakfast pastries. So this one, um, I think this one was like the pastry of the day or the week or something. Like a mystery pastry, if you will. So I'm not sure what's like flavor or what's in this. I have no idea. The picture online looked very appetizing and I just was in the mood for a mystery, like apparently. So I ordered these, um, they, smell, they smell really good. I think that's like frosting or something on them so we're gonna try these and then i also got these ones i'm really excited to try these this next one is like a french toast like strawberry cinnamony type of vibe and i just love french toast so i'm like let me try this and it comes with this little like frosting and i think this is like syrup yeah that's syrup and then uh, look at the pastries y'all they smell so good it's crazy because this doesn't like look as like fancy and like appetizing as this one but it smells so good it smells so good i see they drizzle some like powdered sugar on there i got some strawberries mm, i'm excited so my oven is already preheating i just kind of turned it on to preheat to 300 oh my god my nail is bleeding y'all look at my nail I need to get a band-aid. This is so gross. Okay, quick little story time, y'all. I literally, like last night, I pinned up my hair and then I just plucked, like ripped all my nails off because I was so over looking at those Valentine's Day nails. Like, one thing about me, when I'm over something, like it's done, like it's a wrap. And it's crazy because I used to do the same thing when I used to get like lash extensions. Like I would have them and then like one night, I'm just like tossing and turning in bed. I can't sleep, my eyes are itching. Like I would just like pick and like rub all my lashes off. And then I'm looking crazy. So with that being said, girl, we literally have to go to the nail salon today. Like it's just non-negotiable. Definitely gonna get my nails done because we have a flight on Tuesday. Okay, girl, I'm excited. Stay tuned for the vlogs, y'all. So gross, bro. Like I don't even know how this happened. I think I hit it on something. I don't know. Luckily I have band days though. Hopefully I can get an appointment today at the nail salon because y'all know it's Sunday and the girlies be in the nail salon, okay? Sunday is like low key a maintenance day. Oh my God, this hurts so bad. Oh my gosh, y'all. That literally hurts so bad. I don't even know like how that happened. I have no idea, truly. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that just like literally caught me off guard. I'm about to go ahead and get my little pan. Um, I'm gonna just take this pan and like line it with aluminum foil. Okay, so this is the mystery pastry. I don't even know what it smells like. I know there's nuts in there, so that should be yummy. And then here is the French toast like pastry, the one I'm really excited about. I'm gonna take the strawberries off because we definitely don't wanna put those in the oven. And as y'all can see, I'm like constantly like washing my hands. I hate when my hands are like sticky and stuff. That's literally the worst thing ever, but anyway. Um, here are the pastries, okay? So I just have one of the mystery pastry and then one of the um like French toast type one I told y'all about. I'm literally gonna put these in the oven for maybe about five minutes and even that might be too long. I'm kinda just gonna eye it and like see if it's like getting crispy, if it's cooking a little bit. And speaking of my oven, okay, if you have been keeping up with my vlogs, you would know that I literally burnt the flesh off of my hand like 
two or three weeks ago, whatever. It's in a previous vlog. And at first it wasn't healing well. But I think we're finally in the like end stages or ending stages of the healing process because it's looking a lot better and hopefully it doesn't scar too bad y'all this is like the worst i've ever burnt myself and at first girl it was not looking good okay but thankfully it is looking a lot better it's still pretty gross though so i'm not gonna like show it to y'all but um those of you who were concerned about me burning the flesh off of my freaking hand um there's a little update i'm gonna bring y'all back closer because i like being up close and personal okay so like i said girl today is sunday um, I do have a few things that I wanted to do today. First things first, we're actually not gonna go into Sunday service today. My church um, does like streaming online, so I'm gonna plug it into my TV and we're gonna get our Bible and we're gonna get into it. So that's what's first on my to-do list. Then I desperately need to go get my nails done like y'all just saw. Y'all just saw what happened. So I definitely wanna go ahead and head over to the nail salon and get my nails done if I can. I also wanna go to Target today because I need to get a new journal. I keep so many like important things and like goals and like dates and stuff on my phone like digitally, but it's nothing like having something tangible that you can like see and like feel and touch and like physically write in every day. I feel like it just kind of hits different. And my old journal, literally all the pages are done front and back. Like it's literally no more space in that journal. I've outgrown it. So I need to go ahead and get a new journal from Target. And the next on my list, I have go through my emails. Y'all know just like content creator, like YouTube stuff. Make sure I like sit over all my contracts and like go through my spam folder because sometimes the good collabs, the good partnerships, the good um, PR gifting campaigns be going to my spam. I don't know why, but it just be going to my spam. So I wanna like dedicate, you know, this specific day to like really thoroughly look through everything and like, you know, make contracts if I need to, send those over and just everything like that. I also have on here to go grocery shopping. Now this is just like iffy because I don't know if I really feel like cooking today. Like, I feel like I should, cause I've been eating out, not a lot, but like more than I would have liked to this week because y'all know I'm trying to like prioritize eating at home. So I wrote this down because I literally have like every intention on cooking, but I, I just don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna be a hundred with y'all. So I don't know, we'll see about that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I wanted to go to Costco if I did cook. Y'all know Costco be crazy on Sundays. So I don't know. We gonna see. And the next thing I wrote in here is like literally hilarious. I wrote finish who the F did I marry <laughs> on TikTok. I don't know what's so intriguing about like this who the F did I marry series on TikTok, but girl, I just had to finish it. And it's so funny because in the comments of her TikTok, you had pages like Tubi and like Hulu, and like Netflix. Their like actual accounts are like commenting on her TikTok. And homegirl got 30 million plus views on at least every single one of those videos, if not more. Like, I know that's right. And honestly, I feel like what she's doing is like great if you, you know, don't care to put yourself out there on the internet and, you know, be vulnerable, I guess and like let people into your story or you're able to gain like a community of people who like either can relate to you or just find you amusing or funny or you know whatever people are gaining from you know her sharing her story I think that's great she's earning revenue she's building a community she's getting opportunities uh, like literally my girl was on good morning America like what what are you talking about so I think that's great and I can only imagine like how hard that was for her to actually get on here and like tell her story because people online are like so judgmental and so quick to talk about what they would never do, but they've never been in that position. You know what I mean? And I think I'm like on part 30 something. I'm literally nowhere near done. Like, so if y'all have been watching the series, comment down below like what part you're on and like, what is it giving? Like, I don't know. I feel like everybody is so hooked on this, like who the F did I marry thing? And it's just so funny to me. Here are my pastries. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> Um, let me go ahead and put the strawberries on the French toast one. I try to make it cute with a little um, syrup drizzle and like the cream and you know try to make it a little fancy i didn't have any powdered sugar which absolutely sucks but we're still gonna eat it i'm really excited it looks so good okay so i'm thinking 
I'm gonna try the mystery one first because I literally have no idea like what this is. It smells really good and I love like um, nuts and stuff. So I think I'm gonna like this. I'm trying to get more of the middle because I'm just like a middle type of girl. Like the crust be good too, but the real tea be in the middle cause it's like nice and soft. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's super sweet. Maybe I shouldn't have put like more on there because it's really sweet, but it's really good. Mmm. <laughs> okay. I gotta figure out how to make this at home. That's really good. That's really, really good. I'm trying to think of what this reminds me of. It's kind of giving like a banana bread, but like super, super sweet and like cinnamony, you know? All right, y'all, so now we are trying the French toast type pastry. So let's see what she's giving. Mm. Mm. Negative. ironic is this <laughs> the mystery one I end up liking the most and then the one I thought I was gonna like I absolutely hate it that is so nasty ew I couldn't even tell y'all why I don't like it I just know I don't like it but this right here this little fake cinnamon banana bread with these strawberries mmm that's real good I'm gonna try my orange juice mmm that's really good so yeah that was our breakfast for today, something different because I feel like I've just been eating the same thing for breakfast lately. The mystery one, 10 out of 10. The French toast one, negative two out of 10. Would never recommend to anybody. That is like garbage. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, um, I'm about to go ahead and start um, streaming Sunday service on my TV. We're gonna grab my Bible and we're gonna get into it. Well, good morning again, those who are worshiping with us online, in the room, in the overflows. Today is a great day because we are here together. So when Jesus leaves them, he says, okay, now turn up. He may have not used those two words, but he said, now you are empowered by the Holy Spirit. So go do and share. I don't know about you, but I'm not a person that just wants to come to church Sunday after Sunday. Come to corporate prayer Saturday after Saturday. Go to small group during the week just so I can live a life that's just simply existing. There's a life that we have to live. Somebody say they're after. And so what we're getting ready to read, I need you to pay close attention because there's intentional language in this passage that talks about the thereafter. As a matter of fact, in a lot of environments, people are coming to church just to check the box. In a lot of environments, there are people that are coming, looking for deliverance, still leaving bound. Let me make this a little bit more personal. In every room, under the sound of my voice, those who are watching online, look at somebody next to you and say, I'm so glad that you're a part of the family of God. You can talk all day about what God has done in your life. You can talk all day about the character that God is building, but what happens when you get tested? What happens when a person gets on your last nerve? We have to be people who say, I'm gonna let the character of God reflect in me if it's with another. And so as we walk through this today, I wanna to say this statement, I want you to write it down. There was unity and community at every turn, and that changed the world. We've dumbed down the Christian life to yeah, come to the service, come to the event, but after you leave here, you can just pick this back up on next Sunday. And I want to let you know, God never ordained the Christian life to be a see you next Sunday type of situation. He wants your Sunday to Sunday to be all about him. He wants you to embody him. We're not saying that every moment you have to be praying out loud in tongues and on your knees. What we're saying is as you walk, as you encounter other people, they should see the reflection of God in your life. That means that even if God doesn't necessarily deliver you from a situation, you know that he's able to. And, and they would talk about, well, well, God never speaks to me. I never hear from God. I always take a deep breath and I ask this very informative question that tells me a lot about where they are. I say, do you read your Bible? How much time this week did you spend reading your word? And so if you're not cracking open that Bible or, or looking at that Bible on your device or, or ingesting the word of God, 
It's no surprise that our life is in shambles. I'm so happy that I was able to, you know, find a church here in Atlanta. Y'all know I've been here since 2021, I want to say. Between last year and this year, I have consistently been like engaging and going to this church. And one thing that I can say, this pastor, like he gets down, he don't play. Um, <laughs> Y'all know me and Angel sometimes like will go to the actual service like in person but she had to work today and so i'm like i'll just you know sit home and like stream it online and it was really good mm. and we were reading in acts today and um i was following along i took some notes and stuff like that and like highlighted things that kind of stuck out to me and that i could you know relate back into my life i am so in love with these bible tabs that i got from my bible they're just so cute i'll put the link to them um down below in the description box and my bible is also from amazon as well so i'll go ahead and link like my whole bible setup i also got these like bible highlighters they don't bleed through <laughs> the pages of the bible so i'll go ahead and link um the bible highlighters as well as the bible and the bible tabs down below for y'all. Next, we are definitely going to the nail salon to get our nails done. Um, I was looking on Pinterest to see what designs I wanted to like try, if any, but it's given French. <laughs> it's given French tip because honestly, I don't feel like, like stressing myself out trying to find a nail design. Like I just don't have the energy to do that today. I'm thinking I want to change my nail shape though. I've been doing square for like, the longest i think i had square all year honestly and most of like the end of last year so i'm thinking maybe we could do like almond again i love my almond nail era like i felt so pretty when i had my nails like that i honestly have no idea why i stopped getting my nails like that but i think we're gonna do almond again today yeah so i might just like scroll through like pinterest and find some like nail design ideas if i can't like make a decision then we're getting French because this is the last thing that I need to like stress me out today. So we'll just have to see. We're gonna go ahead and straighten up the kitchen. You guys know I still have that breakfast and stuff over there from earlier. And we're gonna find something cute to put on. My negative trait is that I want to wear like two pizza sets every day. <laughs> like I don't even plan outfits anymore. I literally go in my closet and I look for a two piece set and that's the problem. But they're just so convenient, so comfy. I don't gotta think too much. You know, I don't have to inconvenience myself and like go through the stress of picking out an outfit. I can just grab me a little two piece set and we out, you know what I mean? So it's giving two piece set for today's little outfit. Anyway, I just keep rambling. I don't know why I have so much to say this morning. <laughs> Y'all probably like, girl, shut up and like get to what you got to do. So I'm about to go ahead and get ready and I'll probably see you guys on the way to the nail salon. What's up, y'all? So we made it to the nail salon. I found like a few Insta pictures that I think um, I would like to get on my nails, but nothing is confirmed. Like, I don't know. Clearly, I'm indecisive. So this is design number one. The lighting is weird in here, but y'all can kind of see it hopefully okay yeah that's a better angle but yeah this is the first one i was thinking about getting um i've had something similar to this before but i think this is cute the lighting is so weird in here so bear with me but here is the next option it's like the cute french with the pink and then the white tips and then this one it has like pearls on it so i thought that was like really cute and like girly and then of course oh reliable oh faithful the regular degular french tip the skinny french of course so i'm about to send the inspo pictures to like my sister and my friends to see what they think i should do <laughs> because i feel like they just be knowing me and they just know whatever i don't you know what i mean so i'm about to send it to them and see what they say and i feel like y'all kind of know me too which makes me mad like i wish this was live so that i could like ask y'all like what i should get and y'all could just tell me because i just literally never know what to get when it comes to like my nail designs that's why i just get the same thing every time french tip me please okay so let's see if it's really given like do you know me for real so what nail design do y'all think i got do y'all think i got the pearls do y'all think i went um with the cute little lines or do y'all think i just went basic and got regular french so let me know 
if you got it right because at this moment I still don't know what I'm gonna get so we'll just see once I get my nails done and once I'm finished my appointment is in another like five minutes or so so I'm about to just sit here for a little bit and like scroll on my phone and then I guess I'll just see you guys inside All right, y'all, so we are out of the nail salon and we are now in Target. I told y'all I wanted to find me a cute little journal, like a planner type, just something that I can like, you know, jot my notes in and stuff. And they have a bunch of options, surprisingly, because this Target specifically is always out of stock. I really like this one. Y'all knew that though. <laughs> I feel like this is like so my aesthetic. So she's cute. These are also really nice too. They have purple. Ooh, this one's super cute. I like this one too. I also found these earrings, but now that I'm thinking about it, I already have a bunch of silver hoops. But I just love these chunky hoops. I just think they're so cute. But I think I should get this one. Threshold has like really good like journals and planners and stuff. I think I'm probably gonna get this one just because this one is bigger and like the black and the gold, I just like the way that looks. The cream and gold is nice too, but it's just really small compared to this one. And I have big handwriting, so I think we're gonna go with her. Take notes, this is so cute. I love this. I told myself I was coming in here to get one thing. I have no idea how I ended up on this aisle. I saw these two glasses though. And I feel like I need these. I feel like these would be super cute for like drinks and stuff. They're like super short and like square. So I think we may get these. I don't know, I feel like you can never have too many glasses, especially in my case, cause I'm always hosting something. So I think we're gonna get these. And they're only $3, like, yeah, we're gonna get these. Okay, so I know I said I was coming in here to get one thing, but I feel like since we already got the glasses, we might as well just, you know, get some candles while we're here. These are like my all time favorite candles from Target. The ginger black tea, and then y'all know I love me a good cedarwood musky scent, so this one is another favorite of mine too. I think we're gonna get these two. Y'all know I always keep a candle on the island of my kitchen and we've been burning that one for a while. So I think I'm gonna put this one in here, the ginger and black tea, I feel like that gives kitchen. And then this one can go in the restroom. I feel like the color of this one kind of goes more with the bathroom. So we're gonna get her as well. Girl, these are really good too. Oh my God, they're having a sale. Buy one, get one 40% off. Is that for this? I don't know. Oh, it is. Wait, these two or just those? Threshold, yeah. Buy one and get, okay, period. Period, period, period. Okay, y'all, we got lucky today. <laughs> so um, that's a good thing. Love that. But yeah, these are really good too. Um, I haven't tried a lot of them because I always kind of go back to these ones. But this one right here, the whiskey and oat and the leather and embers is like, 
top tier top freaking tier i haven't tried the other ones but i'm sure they're just as good as well so the target trip was a success um, i got my nails done today was a good day today was a good day update though i'm not cooking <laughs> because I don't want to. I don't feel like cooking and washing dishes. Like, I don't feel like doing that. We can save that for a different day. And plus, like, y'all know I'm leaving for Houston soon. So, buying groceries for them to just, like, sit in the house just doesn't make any sense. So, we're at Chipotle. Um, one thing about me, I can literally eat Chipotle, like, multiple times a week. Like, the addiction that I have to Chipotle might be a little unhealthy, but, like, I don't... I don't care. Chipotle is so good. I feel like people who don't like Chipotle, y'all just don't know what to get because what you mean you don't like Chipotle? What do you mean? Because for me, it's like, if you want me to send you what I get in my bowl, like, you can just say that because one thing about my bowl, it's gonna eat every time. And it's crazy because I've literally been getting the same thing from Chipotle, like, for years. I've never switched it up. Well, honestly, no, that's a lie. When I was in my pescatarian era, I was getting this tofu here at Chipotle, but we ain't on that type vibe no more, so I'll be getting chicken, and it hits every time. And if you don't have the app for Chipotle, girl, you need to get it because you literally can eat free, like, multiple times a month, like, if you, like, go a lot. Like, at one point, I literally had, like, 9,000 points. That's how many times I used to go. Like, I be using the notes, so now I only have, what is this, like, 3,200? Can y'all see? I guess down, I don't play. And the parking lot is packed, baby. It's giving everybody one at Chipotle today. So hopefully it's good, okay? I feel like with Chipotle, you can just automatically tell if it's gonna be a good day or not, like, as soon as you walk in. So hopefully it's good. I'm starving, I haven't really ate much all day. So let's go ahead and go inside and get this bowl. Hi, I'm gonna get a bowl to go. Um, I'm gonna get light white rice. And um, black beans. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. And chicken, please. Hi, I'm gonna get the tomatoes and the corn and um, the red hot sauce and a lot of cheese and um, just a little bit of lettuce. And then um, on the side, can I get um, sour cream and guacamole? Thank you so much.